Hey everybody, it's Chris. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video. People have been asking about uh, Shannara uh, Unofficial Season 3, and I know it's been forever since I've given you guys an update, so I thought I would just get one out. Uh, and as a bonus, I will be sharing uh, some artwork and things from the show, so you can see where things are going and maybe get an idea of why it's taking so long. So let's jump in. So first of all, yes, the pandemic has negatively affected uh, the development process for the show. I am thankfully still gainfully employed and uh, work every day, uh, but the situation that we find ourselves in where my two sons are locked in the house with my wife and I 24 seven had just made it impossible to make any real meaningful headway for over the last two months or so. But that does not mean that work hasn't been getting done. It has, it's just not as much as I would like. Uh, added to that, I recently had to switch gears and uh, stop using Unity for this project. It just, it became too much of a burden. It, uh, Unity is so amazing at so many things, but with what I want to do and the fidelity and quality that I demand from this project, it was just becoming uh, an impediment to use Unity. And so I am switching gears to another pipeline, and that means going back and re redoing a number of things. But as you will see in a moment, the uh, positives to this are incredible strides forward in quality. So uh, right now I'm going to just uh, share with you the uh, models for Merith and Eritrea. Yeah, first of all, yes, they don't look anything like the actors from the show and that is very much intentional because I don't want to get sued into the ground for using someone's likeness without permission. So they could not look like the actors, but I've tried to capture the essence of the character from the show and combine it some with what I think it should have been from the book uh, to create something that is unique but still kind of feels like what you expect. So uh, I'm going to show you the artwork for Merith and Eritrea and then I'm going to show you one screen, <laughs> one frame that I rendered out uh, from the beginning of the first episode. Uh, where Merith is meditating in the bowels of Paranor. And uh, that render for one frame took an hour. One single frame. So that should tell you why it's taking so long. But as you'll see, the quality is outstanding and incredible. So um, I think the trade-off is worth it. And uh, I mean, if I had people to help me, uh, it would go faster, but I need money for that and I don't have any, so uh, you're just going to have to wait at this point. Uh, it's, no one's more frustrated about this than I am, but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to drop those images in right here and I will see you in a moment. Okay, so yeah, that is a little little teaser of, of what's coming in the next, you know, maybe week or two, I will drop uh, the character models for Alanon, who is a character in this, and Will, and hopefully, if things go well, uh, some, like, setting work um, around the Forelands or in the Forbidding, which is where my story goes. So uh, that's it from me. Hopefully seeing that will give you some idea as to why things are taking as long as they are, because uh, hopefully you see how high the quality is that I'm trying to aim for. So uh, as always, uh, subscribe if you're not, give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, give it a thumbs down. If you didn't, it's a free internet, I'm not going to hold it against you. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be in a couple of weeks and it will have more awesome artwork. Later.